Hello everyone, it's Mel Kajan. Today I am going to read S3 3226 Telling Stories Through Art Written by Luto of Raymond Many people all around the world tell stories. Many of these people also write these stories down. But in the past, some people did not write their stories down. These people used the painting and carvings to tell their stories instead. These stories told about people, animals, plants, and the land. This woman is mixing paint. Paintings of the Aboriginal people of Australia. Painting was very important to the Aboriginal people of Australia because they did not have a written language. The Aboriginal people used their paintings, songs, and dances to pass on stories from one generation to another. The Aboriginal people used red, brown, black, white, and yellow paint for their paintings. They made their paints from things such as clay, water, gum, and wild plants, an Aboriginal bark painting. Some of the paintings done by the Aboriginal people were made to last for a very long time. The Aboriginal people did these paintings inside caves and on cliffs. The Aboriginal people used strong sticks and hard rocks to carve their stories onto the walls of the caves and the size of clips. Then they rubbed paint into their carvings. Aboriginal people painted in caves. Some of the uh, paintings done by the Aboriginal people were only made to last for a short time. The Aboriginal people did some of these paintings in the sand and some on their bodies. The paintings in the sand told the stories and were left to blow away. The body painting was used for ceremony, was wiped off after the ceremony was over. Some paintings are made in sand. Some paintings were done on bodies. Not all Aboriginal people painted in the same way. Aboriginal people, painters, could only paint the stories that belong to them or to their tribe. So different tribes living in different parts of Australia painted different paintings. Totem poles of the Native Americans. Totem poles are carved wooden posts made by the Native Americans and First Nations people from the northwest coast of North America. Totem poles were used to tell the stories of a family. They told how that family lived with animals, birds, plants, and the land. It takes a long time to carve a totem pole. Totem poles were put in different places around the family's home. Some totem poles were put in, the, put in the front of the house for guests to see. Some totem poles were put on the beach to greet guests who came by canoe. Some totem poles were made for people who had died. Totem pole, poles are carved from a large tree trunk. Totem poles tell stories. Totem poles were carved from large cedar trees. Before a cedar tree was cut down, a small hole was drilled in it to check the wood. Some totem poles were painted. The Native American Jews to bright paints. They made the paints by mixing things such as clay with bird's eggs. Some totem poles are very tall. Some totem poles are painted. Uh, the poo-poo of the New Zealand Maori. The color of the post. Around the words of New Zealand Maori ceremonial houses tell story. These carved posts are called a poo-poo. The carving done the poo-poo tell stories about the Maori people's ancestors. The carvings of people, animals, birds, and creatures. Maori carvings also stand outside ceremonial houses. Before they did their carvings, Maori carvers had a special ceremony to choose a tree which was to be carved. Then they carved the wood with sharp sticks and stone. Today, Maori carvers use modern tools to make their poo-poo. 
The pupu is made in many different shapes and sizes. Every tribe has its own style of carving. Some tribes use shells and paint. In their carvings, Maori carvers now use many different paints, but in the past, red, black, and white paint were used the most. This man is using sharp tools to carve the wood. The Maori statues of East, uh, Moai statues of East Island. A very long time ago, hundreds of very big stone statues were carved on East Island. The people think that the statues may tell the stories of the chiefs who once lived on East Island. The statues are called Moai. East Island was formed when the volcano erupted. The statues were carved in the hard volcanic rock. The people who carved the statues used the hard rock for their carving tools. As time went by, the chiefs on East Island wanted to have statues that were better than the statues that had been built before. So people carved the bigger and bigger moai. Some moai are very, very tall. Most of the moai are about 14 feet. 4.2 meters tall, and they weigh as much as 13.78 uh, tons. Some moai are just heads, but some are heads and bodies. The moai have their backs to the ocean. Moai were carved from hard rock. The end.